Prairie farmers say they are thankful, but not any less nervous after President Donald Trump takes their side in a trade dispute with Canada. Dozens of farmers are less than two weeks away from losing their livelihoods. Our political reporter Theo Keith joining us here in the studio to explain. Mary, President Trump's plan was to call Canada and get a solution to a policy change that's cutting off Wisconsin milk from the Canadian market. Wisconsin dairy farmers don't expect it to be so easy, so they're looking elsewhere for help. On the Roscoff family farm in Dodge County, time is running out. I'm getting more nervous because the plants are all full and they said they have nowhere for the milk to go. Monica and Dave Roscoff say they've never been through anything like this. Their processor, Grassland Dairy, says Canada is now utilizing its domestic milk production and will stop buying Grassland's products. In turn, Grassland will stop taking milk from the Roscoffs and about 75 other farms, most of them in Wisconsin, on May 1st. Now that it's only 10 days away, 11 days away, it's, I guess it's starting to hit home harder. What's happened to you is very, very unfair. President Donald Trump took the side of Wisconsin farmers Tuesday, offering a simple plan in Kenosha. We're going to get together and we're going to call Canada and we're going to say what happened. They heard the speech in Canada. The country's dairy processors tell Fox 6 that President Trump's future communications with the Canadian government will broaden his perspective on this issue. And we are confident the Canadian government will stand by its dairy industry. I think it's great that he got involved. It's going to take a while. It's not going to take 10 days to resolve itself. That's the bad issue of it. So the Roscoffs are asking for more immediate help. They hope another Wisconsin plant takes on their milk or they'll have to start dumping it. Cows ain't machines. They can't be shut off. They have to keep being milked. And it'll be sad seeing the milk go right down the drain. They say they're not getting any help from grassland in trying to find that next plant. One processor, Mullins Cheese, which is south of Wausau, has agreed to take on a handful of extra farms in their area. Governor Scott Walker's administration is now urging other plants to do the same, even if it means taking on one single additional farm. Mary? All right, Theo, thank you. We